We're going to look at my Power Rangers The Movie card collection here. Uh, last time I went through kind of my old cards, the first set of the TV show. So now we'll look through the complete The Movie uh, card set. There's a couple I want to highlight, of course, here and there. Generally, we'll just look through the pages here. We're starting with card number one. Uh, we got all the Rangers and their movie costumes. Elf and Zordon. Uh, all the old trading cards is just kind of like, oh, we got all these photos and stuff from the movie, so you can kind of sell these trading cards. Uh, they did have some unique pictures on the back of some of these here and there. I think later we'll get kind of more generic ones. Always confused uh, watching the movie as a kid, you know, why we had Mordant instead of Babu and Squat. They just kind of were like, oh, let's make a whole new character for the movie. It seemed kind of strange. Wasn't familiar with uh, like a movie being completely separate from the television series like that. A lot of the villains here. Dulcia. They kind of have little extra bio bubbles in the back there. Uh, more of the rangers here. A little bit out of order of the movie sequence here. They're on the island already. But still just some character shots, you know. Rangers out of their costume. Oh, it's, it's David Oozman. I guess the uh, the enemy dudes like this in the movie were supposed to be giant rats, and then they uh, didn't like the costume, so they end up just using those in the TV show later. Uh, and I gotta admit, looking at them, they are pretty lame for uh, movie opponents for the Power Rangers. Oozman looked a little more uh, movie-worthy and detailed. Oh, uh, look how cool I am skydiving and... Uh, rollerblading stuff. There's not a lot of pictures from that. You'd think they'd have more pictures of uh, the skydiving and stuff, but I think they probably didn't take pictures during it. Because even this picture is just the parachute scene. Interesting just to look through the movie stuff of what they had. Not a ton of the rollerblading either, which is kind of weird. But would I want a bunch of rollerblading pictures? Probably not. Of course, all these have like fairly useless uh, information on the back of a lot of them if you want to zoom in and look close on some. If this was a popular vid or something, I mean, if people wanted it, I could go through each card if you wanted to do a super thorough one, but it would be a pretty long video. A lot of them are repeating a lot. Here's a ton of Ivan Ooze messing around, uh, getting to the damage. There's no uh, pictures of the special effects, like him shooting beams or anything. I feel like this is a little bit of an afterthought with some of these photos. Getting to the island stuff here. Can show more of the rangers out of their suit. Uh, there was no pictures of the rangers fighting in their suits either, which is really strange. Now we're already at the island part where there's most of these are going to take place here. Awful lot of Dulcia cards. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, the ninja outfits there. Plenty of pictures of that again. Uh, here we're getting into some, some interesting territory here. Here's uh, Ivan Yu's disguised and distributing his ooze to the kids. Uh, we have a couple pics here of Bulk and Skull, like, helping him sell it. Uh, I think this is a deleted scene in the movie. Uh, I, I couldn't find any footage. Uh, maybe it's out there, but it looks like they got convinced or otherwise roped into helping him sell the ooze. It was just a kind of instance where they sent out the pictures for the cards and uh, kind of contained some deleted scene stuff there. Especially since there's cards, there's not cards of significant scenes. None of the fight with the oozeman, just one picture there. A lot of the ninja suit and the stuff there, but not really any special effects uh, shots again. Just kind of things like this. I don't think this is even a screen from the movie. This looks like uh, just kind of a reference photo or a promotional photo of him standing next to this monster. Uh, I don't think that was any particular screen from the film, but yeah, maybe. The gargoyles. Lots of ninja stuff. Here's some more of the birds. And some stuff in the factory there, rebuilding the machinery for Ivanus. And then we already have uh, the rangers in the cockpits of the zords. Uh, but you'll see there's no pictures of the zords. Uh, again, they were a massive special effect. I don't know when they got the stuff. They just didn't have the uh, imagery to put on the cards, which was a major uh, miss there for me. Only a few pictures in the suits here. Here's one picture of them posed uh, in the area that they would have fought all those oozmen. But there's no, like, fight scene pictures. So it's just kind of, like, cool, but... It's acting like victory at last, but this is just the area where they uh, were looking to fight the Oozman. Also no uh, Zordon in the tube, just laying there, which again would be a special effect, so they just didn't have it ready. Uh, something weird, I don't know if you've just never collected cards, but a lot of them would come with these uh, checklists, right? So there's the list of all the cards, so you knew, oh yes, I need this one, this one, and here's what that number is, that sounds interesting. Uh, there's checklist one, so there's a checklist two. 
And this is the most baffling thing of all. There's like three subsets outside these main ones. Uh, I bought a lot of these cards growing up, okay? Like to collect them all. I didn't get them all. Here's a complete set that I finished uh, recently just to have the full set. Three subsets of special cards, okay? Power pop-ups, there's 24. They kind of had like a little cardboard pop-up of the character, so kind of did a 3D display. Uh, I had zero of these for my old sets, zero. Uh, holograms, here were just some of the pictures of like the ninja suit and some of the other main characters here, 12. Uh, guess how many I had? Zero growing up. I don't have any of them here. I don't even have one just to show. They were just kind of weirdly colorless, you know, kind of had that rainbow gloss effect. Hologram. Uh, third set, holofoil zords. So the, the only pictures of the zords was this set. Zero in my collection. I never saw a single one. Didn't even know these sets were here. I think I might have looked at this checklist card and just thought, huh? I don't, I don't have any of these. Always kind of wondered. Uh, didn't get a single one. I guess I'm just extremely unlucky. Uh, these pictures are just of kind of drawings of the Zords anyway. They weren't even of the movie models. They were just drawings of the Super Sentai version that they took them from. The, the Ninja Sentai show that they took these Zords from. They were just drawings of the ones that show and the one, you know, of the footage they used in the TV show then. Which is obviously different than the movie. Here's a wrapper of the cards and here it's saying that one pop-up in every pack but I guess I was getting cheaper packs I think maybe they were just six card packs so there was no specialties uh, because this even lists the frequency that you would get uh, some of the special sets so clearly whatever I bought as a kid didn't include these at all because I would have at least ended up with one even if they're fairly rare. I definitely never finished the set, but I feel like I bought quite a few packs back in the day. Uh, but if I do end up finding those subsets to show off, I'll gladly collect them, add them to my book, and I'll show them here. Uh, and I have more Power Ranger cards and things to show, and definitely more Power Rangers merchandise, figures and toys and things. So you want to check out that playlist, and I show off all my stuff here, so get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Pack does not fit in, well, maybe a little bit. It kind of fits in there just for safekeeping. Not bad. Subsets, gonna go here. Where are they? Gotta find them.